Today we'll create an attractive thumbnail using Canva, so let's begin. First, search for YouTube thumbnail. Select the YouTube thumbnail format. Click Create Blank Page. Go to Photos, search for a green background. Add a dark green gradient background. Next, go to Elements. Search for a $3D dollar sign. Add a green dollar. Flip it horizontally. Duplicate it. Crop it. And place it in the bottom left corner. Adjust its size. In the same way, crop and place the dollars in different positions. Add a money bag icon. Place it on the top side. One at the bottom. Next, search for the YouTube logo. Place it behind the dollar sign. Duplicate it and position it in the top left corner. Now, search for currency. Add a currency PNG. Place it on the left, right and middle positions. Select the dollar icon, click Edit, then Blur, and change the intensity to 50. Adjust the blur intensity of the other elements in the same way. Reduce the transparency of this dollar. Select the dollar bags and set the blur intensity to 80. For the currency note, set the blur to 50. Reduce the transparency of the elements. After this, go to Photos, search for a girl photo. Add a photo. Remove its background. Place it on the left side of the canvas. Scale its size. Click on Edit Photo. Open filters.
apply the barley filter. Now, go to Elements, search for a green highlight gradient. Add a glow gradient element. Adjust its size and position. Send it to the backward. Next, search for green lights. Add glow light elements. Adjust their size and place them above the girl. Send it to the backward. Go to text, add a heading. Type your text. Change the font size to 70 pixels. Choose a suitable font. Change its color to white. Adjust its position. Increase letter spacing. Click on effects and add the neon effect. Duplicate the text. Type your text. Change the font size to 95 pixels. Adjust its position. Align text to the left. Change the text color to green. Now, go to Elements. Search for a shadow. Add a rectangle shadow. Place it at the bottom of the canvas. Scale its size. After this, select both text elements. Bring them to the front. Our YouTube thumbnail is ready. Let's zoom in. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments, and I'll see you in the next video.